Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harrington from Learn Your Land. I'm out here hunting mushrooms on December 13th in Western Pennsylvania. And some of you may be wondering, why in the world would you be hunting mushrooms in the middle of December? Well, today's high is projected in the 70s, which is unheard of this time of year in this area. And we had some rain the past couple of days. So if there was ever a good time to get out and look for mushrooms, then today would be a great day to do it. Now I've only been out for about an hour and I found two species, two edible species that I'd like to share with you. The first mushroom that I'd like to share with you today is known as the salmon waxy cap, or Coupophilus pretensis. And it's gone through several name changes over the past couple of decades. However, the most recent name is Coupophilus pretensis, and it belongs to a class of mushrooms known as the waxy caps. And waxy caps are fairly distinct as a class of mushrooms. Most of them are brightly colored, smaller mushrooms with thinner flesh, gills that slightly run down the stalk and they deposit a white spore print. This waxy cap, the salmon waxy cap, has an orangish cap but unlike some of the other waxy caps it's much thicker it's much more stout so it's not as thinly fleshed so look for that as a key identifying characteristic of this among the waxy cap mushrooms if you flip this one upside down it's got gills that slightly run down the stalk the gills are light orange to white and they're distant they're not so close together the stalk is slightly white to a light orange and whenever you take a spore print from this this would be white now it can be found this time of year. Generally it grows from early summer to late, late fall. And some people might confuse this for a chanterelle mushroom. Now if you confuse it for a chanterelle, well, these are both edible mushrooms, so no biggie right there. But it's not a chanterelle, and you wanna know what you're identifying for you're bringing it home for the table. The seasons kind of overlap, however, you will not find a chanterelle this time of year. Most chanterelles have come and gone by, I would say, early October to maybe mid-October. But you'll usually find them earlier in the year. You can find this earlier in the year as well, but you're not going to find a chanterelle in mid-December like you would find this one. Now, you can cook this and you can eat it, and it is a good edible mushroom, but make sure you take a spore print before you do it. So you want to cut off the cap, put it on a surface that's not white, wait a couple hours, maybe overnight, and see if the spore print's white. If it is, and all the characteristics match what I mentioned earlier for the salmon waxy cap, then chances are that you have the salmon waxy cap, Coupophilus pretensis. The second mushroom that I'd like to pull out of my basket for you today is the brick cap, or brick top mushroom, Hyphaloma lateridium. And this is an edible mushroom that can be found later in the air. So start looking for this in October, November, mid-December, and it grows on wood, so it's not gonna be growing up out of the ground. It grows in clusters on wood. It's a medium-sized mushroom to a larger size, so it's got some weight to it, kind of like the salmon waxy cap. So it's definitely not thin flesh, especially when it gets older. It can become very big, very large, but it grows in clusters on wood. Now, one of its key identifying characteristics is its cap color, so it's a brick red color. When you flip it upside down, you'll notice that the gills are pretty close together. They're slightly cream colored to having purple, brown, black hues, and that's because the spore print of this mushroom is purple brown. So if you cut off the cap and you take a spore print, it's going to be purple brown. Now there is a slightly toxic look-alike to the brick cap mushroom, and it's a related mushroom known as the sulfur tuft mushroom. And these can be found growing in the same area, even on the same log. So be careful knowing which one you are identifying before bringing it home for the table. Now one of the differences is that the sulfur tuft mushroom, like its name implies, has a cap that's slightly yellow. It's not quite brick red like this, although some people might confuse it for the same color. It's got a yellowish cap, and if you flip it upside down, the sulfur tuft usually has yellow to greenish gills when young. Now the brick top, or the brick cap mushroom, has a brick red cap, it's not yellow. When you flip it upside down, you don't really see these yellowish green gills. However, what's really confusing is that both of them have a purple brown spore print. So you really want to identify them when they're younger, making sure that there's really no yellow green hues on the cap of the brick cap mushroom, so you don't confuse it for the sulfur tuft. Now the sulfur tuft mushroom usually has a bitter taste when you chew it raw. Now definitely don't swallow it because it is a toxic mushroom, but if you chew it and then you spit out, it usually has a better taste. The brick cap, doesn't really have that bitter taste. I'm not detecting any of those bitter flavors. So that's another identifying characteristic between the two. But if you run through the checklist and you know that you indeed have a brick cap mushroom, then you can bring that home for the table, cook it up. When younger though, as it gets a little bit older, I mean this one right here is probably too old for me to eat. You can tell the cap's a little beat up as well. I've got some younger ones in here, ones that have barely opened up. These are the ones that I'll bring home and then I will eat, but I'll definitely cook them up either in olive oil, butter, maybe some onions and garlic, and I know I have a good meal ahead of me. Now, as I said before, I've only been out for about an hour on this walk, and I already found those two edible species. There's plenty of daylight still available, so I'm going to take advantage of that. 
And I don't know if you notice this, but I'm sitting on a log of turkey tail mushrooms right now. However, it's a little too old to harvest for any medicinal purposes, so I'm not going to even say anything more about that. But I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about plants and mushrooms and bird's nests that I find and collect as well, I encourage you to go to learnyourland.com and join the community. Also, if you're on YouTube, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate that as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. Happy December mushroom hunting. Mm -hmm.